Beautiful day on East Pond here in Maine. Heading up to a little spit of rocks that uh, I swim at in the summer, which I'll take a dip in the water today. It's actually fairly warm considering it's cloudy. Bright but cloudy, so I'll catch up to you when we get there. I plan on anchoring kind of at the rocks ahead there to paint that distant hill sort of thing as one composition. But I want to go around the corner over here and see what's over there for views. So peaceful out here. Really awesome today. Even though it's not bright sunshine, I think there's enough brightness to make an interesting painting. I'm just spending a few minutes to explore and uh, see what's around the corner here. Let me do that for a few minutes, then come back to the spot to set up and paint something. Hey everybody, okay, I'm all set up to paint here on East Pond. And I picked out a uh, spot, anchored down, and I'll show you the view I'm going to paint on a 6x8 using uh, a limited uh, palette. So we'll go over that right now. Okay, right straight out ahead is what I'm going to paint. I'll be moving some of those rocks around uh, to make it more artistically interesting, but that's the plan. It's going to be interesting to do the sky. My palette is going to be raw umber, titanium white, ultramarine blue, cad yellow light, cad red. And as usual, we'll see what we can accomplish here. And I, I am anchored down. I'll probably float a little this way or that way, but I should be pointing in the direction I can see the subject. So I'm using Galkid for my medium, and we're going to mix up some sky color here. Get something going on. I'm working on a panel that has been uh, as a canvas texture, and I've toned that board. Some interesting uh, layers of clouds at the horizon there. So we're going to try to get those in there. Mixing a little bit of turpentine into the galkid. See what happens here. Just getting some sky in. I'm going to work on the milkiness that we see back there.
What I do like about working on the textured panel like this is when I want to blend edges or scumble, it's easier because I can just drag across the textured surface of the panel and uh, kind of facilitates some uh, easier blending than on panel where I might incorporate more of uh, actual color mixtures to uh, create the separations. So that's something to uh, be aware of too, which is handy. Just gives a different look to the finished piece too, of course. So I'm uh, kind of liking the sky. Got to work on, of course, the clouds back there. Let's get in a couple highlights that we see back there. See what we can get. It's a little deeper. I'm going a little more right along this. Don't worry about covering up some of the lines of your distant tree line there. We can work on that. Just enriching, making a little contrast down here towards right at the top there. Yeah, I like that better. I'm going to add some darker undernotes from the underneath of the clouds so that when I put the highlights on, you'll be able to see them better. I'm trying not to make them too uniform. I'm just stealing some of what I see. I'm not looking for exactness because the clouds do shift a bit. And now I'm going to get some tones on the uh, tree line. And I'm not going to wash this brush. I'm going to just leave it because I may need it again. Just working on building up some of the distant tree line here. Getting some cool tones in there. Getting some variations in the darkness of the green and lightness, coolness, and that sort of thing. And you can probably tell I'm not putting piles of paint on. I can, once I want to commit to the finishing touches there, if I feel I have everything else right, then I'll do it because uh, it'll be easier to uh, do as opposed to if you go to too fast, don't get the right note, then you could be in trouble. What I like to do if uh, I'm not sure of a darkness of a color or uh, that sort of thing, I always push more towards the a darker note because I can always lighten it. And sometimes I like to amplify the contrast just a step or two in cert certain parts of the uh, painting. So. That's something you can experiment with in your own work and see uh, what it does for you. Adding a few uh, pinker tones on the highlights on the clouds in the distance to give some dimension. Subtle, not much of a value shift, but I think it's going to add some interest to the horizon line just to show some different cloud action going on. And I'm going to intensify some of the blue in here. So I got the water kind of going on and uh, something to, you know, with especially with the surface of this particular panel, um, getting some very super clean lines is going to be very difficult so I would suggest to uh, wait until you get back to shore to finesse uh, some higher finish if you want it in certain spots but to uh, try to do it on this surface at this level of size will be uh, a little tricky on the boat here but um, as long as we get some uh, interesting color notes. The water is actually, and it, unless you get really specific conditions, water can, in this case, uh, 
we're working, I don't know, about 1, 1 p.m., so the light on the water isn't the most artistic, interesting right now. So I'm fibbing because there's not much going on in the water. I'm adding some variations of my primaries to add interest. And in certain key areas, I'll uh, get some lighter blue, like to separate, like right there, just try to create some atmospheric effect that in real life can be difficult to achieve. And I'll finesse more now that I have some other color notes on the distant hill. But uh, kind of a fun little color notation. And I'll get some interesting purpley elements in the clouds there. I'll try to add a couple of those. Okay, here's what I got going on. Got some more interest in the distant uh, hill line there. And I'm just going to work on some more crisp darks right along the edge where the trees roll around and you get the deep shadows and then put in some uh, boat details. So let me get to that. Okay, we're just going to put a little icing on the cake here. Maybe put a little hint, a little activity along the shore. Just little bits of things. And I'm just using a little bit of mud left over from. Uh, what do you call it? All the mixtures. Because it really doesn't matter. So there we go. Okay, that was super fun. And the Gorilla Box worked out pretty good. Just got to bring a few things to tweak the kit for uh, future use. But... Uh, it's going to work great and I like how it sits up kind of high above my knees and so I don't have to hunch over, lean forward too much. Works great. Now I'm going to go for a swim and uh, enjoy some of the sunshine. So uh, I'll catch up to you. Okay, I'll see you at the house and we'll uh, pull the painting out and see what it looks like. Very cool. Osprey, I think. Look at that. Okay, everybody, I'm back at home with the painting and sorry for the sides are a little skewed out. I got the Gorilla Pod on the little table here, but it'll work. I am really happy with this piece. When I was on site, I actually thought it wasn't going to be too appealing when I got home, but you know, it's it's always interesting when you get it you get it away from the subject. And of course, out of the sunlight that uh, you know, because it's not going to live in sunlight, it's going to live indoors. So I'm in the shade right now and I already looked at it indoors um, and I'm I'm pretty darn happy with it. Uh, of course, it's got a little more meat on the bones I got to put on. Uh, but there's some nice strokes of paint going on and uh, sense sense of uh, light and time of day and all that good stuff. I like how I handled the sky. Uh, I got some activity there. That was a lot of fun. And uh, 
yeah hope you enjoyed the video okay everybody well I'm signing off now and I'm uh, gonna go relax for the rest of the evening and uh, work on a video and all that good stuff so I want to th thank you for joining me on this adventure and if you're new to the channel I hope you enjoyed it check out the other ones also and uh, I invite everybody to follow me on my Facebook page Habowski Studio hit the like button there follow me uh, and I post things little tidbits of art related stuff that you won't see in a video usually and uh, my website www.habowskistudio.com oh, so uh, until next time bye